The distortions of figures and objects in the works of Matisse and Picasso demonstrably serve their pictures' volume, space, and movement. Their distortions are different in degree, but not in kind, from those found in such old masters as Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, Rubens, Titian, and Durer, and they serve the same purpose. Consider, for example, Titian's Venus and Adonis in the Metropolitan Museum. Venus's right thigh is much too long. A realistic rendering would not show any of that thigh because the pelvis would hide it. Titian shows us the knee too far to the left in order to create a pinwheel of limbs which whirls clockwise until it meets Adonis's advancing leg. The distortion makes the form kinesthetic and simultaneously conveys the movement of Ovid's story as Adonis leaves his lover's grasp. Thus it is similar to opera or ballet. Average viewers are not aware of such distortions, nor should they be. They are disguised by the skillful rendering, and in this instance by the white cloth draped from the shoulder to the knee. When Picasso displaces limbs, on the other hand, he does not disguise the fact. But neither Picasso nor Titian paints realistically, in the sense of copying appearances. Neither does Cezanne, Chardin, or Van Eyck.